Hey guys, so I have been wanting to talk about Aerith FR Echo Supercharge because that is really something really really good especially if you use it right after activating a main FR because it gives you a boost in your HP damage bonus where if you have used any other attacking ability it probably will not do as much damage. And Aerith Banner, I think tomorrow before the new event comes that will be the end of it so i have been procrastinating in uh, preparing this video so i hope it's not too late if anyone is interested in this mechanics then do pull for aries if you have not so the first thing that i want to explain is that aries echo has a fixed 80 percent hp damage bonus up regardless of the main fr condition so if she can fulfill the main FR condition, for example, if there's condition like providing brave um, to the allies, then she will get that condition. So overall in JP right now, there are some FR that can even reach 100% if you fulfill everything, but most of it is about 80%. So with Aries, natural 80% and with the FR condition 80%, she can actually reach 160% per FR Echo use. So there are some characters that have very easy condition for her to fulfill. So basically I want to talk about that in this video. So the first two that I want to talk about is Pain and Noctis. So we already get Pain and I believe if you have been watching my video, you should have already seen the combo uh, for Pain and Aerith. So it's 140% because Pain has a condition that is up to 60% that is fulfillable by Aerith when she's using Echo. The next character here is Noctis, so it's 160%, but Pain and Noctis has the similar condition where they need level base stack buff. So in that case, Aerith does not have that kind of buff, so you have to use Vidya's Call in order to give her a level base buff. Then we have characters that technically you don't need to have specific calls or anything and that is the first one that I want to talk about is Ponello. We already have that as our GL first exclusive which also makes her a very very good character to have even though she does not have her echo because she has a very generic FR. And with that, Aerith does combo very well with her. The next character that we will be getting probably next month is Rem. So Ram has 140% and Ram's FR has the ability to turn manipulate. But however, she has that 20% condition that is only fulfillable like Ram. Um, so a lot of people probably will not really use her as the main FR. So do take note on that. But she works very, very, very good as an Echo herself. So if you want to do... Um, Ram and Aerith, so do keep in mind that probably your setup will need to be using all the Echoes and FR first and then enter a BT phase when you already hit a very high HP damage bonus. Then here we have Ursula at 155%, so Ursula is very generic, a very good FR condition. It is also instant turn, so um, a very good FR to be used as main FR. Then we have Rosa, Lena, both also 155%. And Lena and Rosa actually hit incredibly hard. All the bow users actually hit really, really hard. So they are good even activating their own FR, entering their own BT phase. So you have Aerith there to provide the boost in HP damage bonus. And at the end, near the end of Echo um, FE30 era, we have Deuce. Okay, so Deuce is also instant turn FR and she can actually hit up to 160%. So as the previous video about the BT phase damage and everything, I kept the character only to FE30 uh, Echo's era. So like the new character like Fujin, uh, Zidane, Celtius, so I did not really talk about them because they are in a new era. So of course in the future I will talk about them. Then here we have another two characters that their FR provide 50% HP damage limit up. So if everyone already hit 999 HP damage bonus, the only way to raise the bar further is by having 
50% HP damage limit up on their FR. So here we have Lock and Kirin. So Lock is 140% and Kirin is 160%, making Kirin currently the best character even in JP for area supercharge while providing high HP damage limit up to the party. So here are some clips that I did. Um, out of all this, I start off with Pain. There's a video on Penelo and then Noctis and all the other characters except Kirin. So because I do not have him in JP, so I did not manage to do a video and I could not find him as a friend anywhere. So that's that. Okay, so you can look into how much Aerith FR Echo actually helps in boosting the HP damage bonus. So I hope you liked the video. Um, I think that's all for now. So if you have not, then quickly, quickly pull for Aerith because she's really that good and really that relevant. And entering FE50 actually in JP, she's one of the first character now that actually get access to FE50. So you can say that she's actually relevant from now all the way until the new era and she will remain relevant. Okay, so a very good character to have and definitely recommend for her. So that's all for this video. Thank you very much, guys. Have a good day. しの守りを素敵だ。もう大丈夫だよ。よし、頑張ろう。縦ごとの音色を落ち着いて。よし。心に響け。私だって。ここで蹴りつけてやる。ああ、いいね。もういいんだよ。終わりにしましょう。星の守りを素敵だ。もう大丈夫だよ。全部出し切る。勝とうぜ。止めらんねえぞ。行くぜ。ちゃ。勝つんだよ。よっ。しっかり。星の守りを素敵だ。もう大丈夫だよ。一緒に戦って。ありがとう。もういいんだよ。終わりにしましょう。星の守りを。もう大丈夫だよ。この祈りを受け切れるかしら。
星の守りを素敵だわもう大丈夫だよ。